Hey y'all, so I appreciate y'all being patient with me. I really haven't been recording like that because, you know, for one, I ain't had nothing going on. There's a, there's a few things that I've been trying to get like lined up, but as far as any definitive content, I haven't had, so. Look at that. Right now, I'm about to go and grab a couple of things. My friend, he is getting sick. So, let's just hope and pray that he's okay. I checked his temperature right just then before I left. And he don't have a temperature, but he's been like coughing and has had like a sore throat and stuff like that. So, I'm finna go and get a few things. Um, to try to knock whatever going on out of him before it take him out, honey. And also, I'm finna go and grab me something to eat. I am trying to, like, you know, stay positive, keep a good face or whatever with everything. Because, you know, you can quickly get discouraged when things don't go as planned. But it must be something greater coming. I wanted the same thing for so long. And just don't seem like it's gone it's what's meant for me to do or something I don't I know that uh it's probably just me questioning everything just because it's been real hard and I'm not even just talking about you know me being in Ohio this is way bigger than Ohio way greater than me coming here this is this has been an ongoing struggle with me you know for a few years i just been trying to fight 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 to remain relevant and uh i'm really starting to give up I've, i'm really starting to give up like it's, it's getting to the point to where somebody was to call me or contact me and ask me if i was to do a b c d or g that i just be like oh no i don't do that anymore and that's sad that's sad that I'm giving up. That I feel like giving up. I really do. If y'all have any kind of insider advice for me though, you know, slide it in the comments. Please. Also, help out my algorithm on these videos by liking it. If you like what, I, what type of content I produce, make sure you subscribe and do hit the bell. I don't know which direction to go in, y'all. I really don't. I don't know which direction to go. I feel so lost. I feel so lost. And I've been feeling like that for a while. I've been feeling like that for a while. And it just seems like it's a bit everything. I don't know. It just seems like everything is a big secret. I don't I don't know. The people that I am connected to, they must be the wrong people because Everybody seemed to go up and I stay down. And, it, and it, 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 it's, nobody, it's nobody's fault but mine. I'm not blaming nobody else but myself. But, because I, I allowed all of this. Most definitely. But goodness gracious. Okay, y'all. So, I made the soup. But he wanted to plead with the soup. He ate all of it up or whatever. He's still hungry. He's, so he wanted something a little more hearty. So I'm finna go to the um, 
he wanted one of them little bows from um KLC. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about or not, but he got like little mashed potatoes and corn and cheese and gravy and whatnot, chicken and stuff like that. He said he wants something that's gonna be a little more hearty than that soup he had. So I'm doing I'm I'm out I'm out going going here now. I, I had no issue with that, however. It is snowing, like it's actively snowing. And so this is my first time driving while it's, while snow falling down type shit. Like, I ain't gonna say while it's falling down, but like it's, it's kind of, I don't know y'all. I would flip the camera and show y'all, but uh, this my, I don't know. I'm just nervous. I guess snow was everywhere like it was all over the car I um I had to um knock it off the windows and stuff like that so that I could see to even you know pull out to drive and stuff like that oh y'all and it's a poor old person right here walking in it with some bad groceries. it's an older man I ain't y'all I be I be wanting to pull over and ask these people sometimes, you want a ride? You need a ride? But I'm also paranoid because I don't know these folk. And I don't know my way around enough to get myself out of no situation if somebody do something foolish up and down here. Um, so I just, I be just riding by mind my own being. Can I, can I please have the number uh, 16? The number 16? Yes. What would you like to drink? I would like a Sprite with no ice, please. Okay. Yeah, I ended up just giving him my bag of food. And, um, and ate what I had at home. Be like, I'm the type of person, like, I be wanting, like, soup and chilies and stuff like that in the summertime. And I know that's so odd because it'll be out of season, but that's when I be wanting that stuff. And I like slushes and ice cream and stuff like that. I be want all that during the winter time, like in the colder months. I've always been that way. I don't like when I can't see um, the divider in the road. Like you know how like it be the it be the little line in the middle of the road separating the lanes and stuff like that. I don't see them, and I and they they hear but they faint. And I don't be liking it, and I hate, especially when I'm not from an area. And I had this issue, you know, downtown, you know, downtown, down south too. Like, um, certain areas and stuff, like if you wasn't from there, you would be all on the wrong side of the road and stuff like that. Um, or supposed to be in a, a middle lane, but you in the outside lane, not realizing that it's just a right turn type of situation or whatever, because the signs and stuff is not there on the road. And um, like they be needing to really like use these people tag money for what they for, and maintain these roads and stuff. Like it ain't gonna, it ain't, it ain't, it don't even take all that to be coming out here and repaint some lines, so people like me can see. Especially at dark, at, at, at dark, especially when it's dark or if it's raining or anything. I just hope he get the feeling better. Y'all know how men folk is when they not feeling good, honey. They get they they act like babies. I've never I've never met a man. I've never met a man who get sick and act like they ain't about to die. They all do it. I don't understand it. They all do it. See, I like to meet that turn right there. Can't see. But, uh, like I was saying, every, every man I've encountered, like, if he ever, like, if he ever gives seat, you'll think the world be about to end. Oh, because they got a headache. <laughs> All right, y'all, I done made it. I'm finna get out and... Open your tent to be man, honey. What's up, y'all? I know I got these masks on and everything, but I just got in the house. 
I got something in the mail today. Let's see what it is. Y'all, he up there. Give me my stuff. This man, I took my damn letter. We got something in the mail. We finna. Um, and he throwing it. What if it's something fragile? It ain't no Stop. Fun. Help me take this off. No. Y'all, he's so mad. It's Valentine's Day. And he is being extremely mean and hateful to me. I just want y'all to know that. But look at my hair. The retwist was a success. Got the baby hairs on fleek. They fleeked out and stuff. Oh, he being so hateful. He, he, he's so angry. I don't know what it is. He's so angry. Wow. Yeah, he's so angry. He's so angry. Really? Let me tell you, I've been at the store. Stop! Stop. Who? And I had cheated the whole time at Dick and I do. <laughs> These panties with this dress, they keep rising up. Stop playing. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Y'all, he used on the stop. He can see. And I don't know why he's acting for y'all like he like he likes touching on me and stuff that he don't. I don't. But can I have some drink? He really don't. Oh, that's why he trying to y'all see that? Y'all see how he trying to pimp me out of a beverage. Y'all see how he tried to pimp me out of a beverage? <sighs> Okay. Yeah, get this on the drink. I don't want you to die of thirst or nothing. I don't want you thirsty. Okay, y'all. So let's see what we got. Okay, so yeah, this is sponsored by Arilla by Clancy. Here's their IG information right here. Um, they had they had reached out to me and asked if I would like to review some of their jewelry. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm not a big jewelry person. For real for real but you know hey so this is sponsored i only paid uh shipping but i'm gonna show y'all these i got three items from them i got this cute anklet and i got two two necklaces so they they, they came real regular package for real for real and a bubble wrap in these nothing impressive at all i'm gonna show you this angle i was actually in i was actually um pretty excited about the anklet though because i had been wanting an anklet for a minute i just hadn't got one so real basic real pretty i'm a very 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 basic person uh, is it gonna fit around my ankle? I don't know. I'm real wide around the arm. Um, I got cankles going on, honey. I don't know. But we gonna see. We gonna see. Post a couple of pictures. Show y'all this. Nicholas here. That's cute. That's cute. You can wear it on both ends. I didn't even realize it was like that when I got it. It is 100% stainless steel. Uh, I do have a nickel allergy. So hopefully, hopefully I don't break out with this jewelry. But I'll make sure I let y'all know. Because even though they did give me these, I am going to give y'all an honest review. And then here's the other necklace right here. That's cute. So I'm, I'm gonna be, um, that's about all I got to say about this for real. Okay, yeah, so this is my favorite. This is actually my favorite piece of date that I got, but it barely made it around my ankle. I knew it because I got cow hooves. I, I think I have these nails on too. I do believe that I'll be able to get it to class, but I'm gonna purchase an extender um, so that I can have a little more room. I want a little wheel room around my ankle. I don't want to, I don't want it to be like a perfect fit around my ankle. So, everybody, so yeah, I am about to go and I have a job interview I'm about to go to. It is actually, um, we're in the middle of this like winter storm. It's been going on now for like a week, but it's pretty bad. Little shop. 
Is it Aria or Aria? It was sponsored by them. Uh, it's reversible, actually. So it has this on one side and it's like that on the other side. It's like this white stone. It's really cute. Um, I like it. I'm really not a big jewelry person. I never really got into it. So, you know, it is. it has taken me like out of my comfort zone. I will say this, like, I don't feel like that these, that their jewelry are like, you know, big girl friendly. Um, and I have alerted them about that. And they said that, they, that would be something that they would work on because um, I weigh, I weigh like 210, 211, maybe, maybe 215. And uh, I know that there are ladies out there who are a little, a little more plushy than I am. And I got, I did get two necklaces, this one and another one, and a bracelet that I, well, it was an anklet actually, but I can't, I can barely fit all of it around like this, like even this, it's, it's on the last class. Of course, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up just ordering, um, extenders or getting one. I probably get an extender kit from like Walmart or something to add to it so that I can. Because I don't really like how I kind of would want it to sit like right here. I don't even know if that's how they're supposed to sit or not. Like I said, I'm not even a jewelry girl. So, you know, I usually put on my hoops, put maybe a stud or two every now and then, and then that kind of be it. So, you know, but it, it, is, it is cute though. It's cute. Y'all see that right there? Huh? that it's pretty high it's pretty high so y'all you know lord we asking and praying for traveling graces today to and from my destination and we praying that everything goes well and i get a great report at this interview hope that i get the job with no trouble um hope that i be able to start with no trouble Hope that once I start, pray that once I start, that um, there will be absolutely no obstacles in my way, no haters, only motivators, people that's like minded trying to make some money, none of that messy stuff. And that's really it. Look at this, Lord have mercy. Y'all see this? this a, it's so cold out here. This thing is an ice cube. It is currently 18 degrees up here. 18 degrees and all y'all lord have mercy hate driving i despise driving especially if i don't know where i'm going so um i'm like 23 minutes away from where i live which is not that bad but it kind of was for me <laughs> i was so scared it's snowing out here it's hard to see I was just, I was very anxious. My anxiety kind of kicked in real bad. It, yeah. So, but hopefully I get the job though. I just don't, I don't see how I'm going to be able to make no drunk kid drive every day though. I don't. Especially during these winter time. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. But hopefully, hopefully after I get the job though, I'll be more used to the drive and it really went it'll be kind of like more like second nature because just then uh-uh that was so stressful that was so stressful for me wish me luck y'all <laughs> that was very quick everything went great it was fast the only thing is she was kind of uh, she was kind of um nervous about my location because I am a little ways away. They do have uh, locations closer to where I live, she said. Um, she don't understand why I didn't show up on the site map. But she was, she's gonna talk to um, some of the overhead to see if they can find a spot for me closer. And she said after that, she'll allow me to just say the word. And if I still want to come here, uh, she will welcome me with open arms. So. But outside of that, though, let it. Let's hope and pray that it is <coughs> an uh, an open spot and availability 
we're at the closer location because y'all seen I was just stressing out about the drive. Now I'm gonna make try to make me drive back. So, ooh, wait, look at this. Ooh, look at this out here. Then this lady right here trying to pull out. She's stuck. She been she been shoveling her stuff out this snow for a minute. This do take some getting adjusted to. It really do, especially coming from Alabama. It never snowed down now. But it's pretty though. Can't take that away from it. What's going on, y'all? So, I was finna get out here and tell y'all how great my day was starting off. But it's not, it's not great no more. It changed real quick. Real, real quick. But, I, um, I had a pretty... I didn't, I didn't have a good day yesterday, but today I just wanted to be a little better. I actually had went to go get something to eat from or whatever. And I know that um, I felt like I was being overcharged. I felt like I was being overcharged um, for what I got. Maybe I wasn't. But I had got two, um, I had got two sauce biscuit meals and I wanted cheese and bacon on both of them. And I also had got a, um, sausage and cheese made griddle meal. And it ended up being, according to the girl, it ended up being like $18, $17 and some change. So, um, I don't like that. Seem like it's a lot, but maybe that's how much it be, right? So when I get to go pay for it, I gave her $18. I gave her a 10, a 5, and three ones. It's $18. So I don't know what was going through that baby mind. I guess because it's early in the morning. But she gave me back um two fives and some chain. Me back to five, and so <laughs> I normally I didn't even, I didn't even question it. I was just like, you know, thank you so much. <laughs> I was just saying thank you and smiling and laughing all the way back home because I was like, you know, that, that I just felt like that was gonna be a. A reflection on how the rest of my day was going to be because I believe that that happened the way that it did because I was already initially overcharged to begin with. And like I said, I might be wrong because I don't eat at um, McDonald's enough to know how much stuff you eat. But normally, I don't think it would have been, I don't think it was supposed to be no $18. Oh my whole new shifted. Yeah, make sure y'all are following me on all social media platforms. I'm gonna have everything here. Um Yeah, I'm gonna go from there. So I'm gonna eat this food and take me a shower. And then lay down. When I finish eating, I'm gonna pack my stuff all the way up. Yeah, so there's the box right there. I pretty much, in a way, already got my stuff kind of situated out, organized in a way to 
how I'm gonna pack it. Y'all gonna hate this vlog, okay? I ain't got nothing going on for real. I haven't had anything going on really since I've been here. That's why I've been um, in my A on YouTube for now. But y'all do me a favor and make sure that you uh, like this video. Comment, please, as well as subscribe because I'm not getting picked up on the algorithm at all. And it's because, you know, y'all ain't doing y'all part. If you watching the video to this point, you know, comment green in the comment section so I can know that you're still watching. Um, also, make sure y'all follow me on all of my social medias. And, um, yeah, so I'm about to warm me up this ravioli and then I'm going to get packing. Okay, y'all, so <laughs> this is what's going on with me. So I, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I, um, uh, I got my stuff packed up. I did have, a, I pretty much packed everything in one box. Oh, uh, I don't struggle. I don't struggle to get to this post office. Got here, didn't have nowhere to park. Had to park all the way over there. Carried the box, broke a nail. <laughs> this old man, when I finally got to the door, tried to help. We dropped the box because he old. Then these ladies decided to help me get it in there. The lady that work at the post office has the worst attitude. She always do. Every time I done came up here, she got a real bad attitude. Like, the lady, I don't know. But, like, <laughs> after all of that or whatever, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about this when I get to the house. But, like, <laughs> When she finally decided that she want to ring me up, she like, is this over 50 pounds? I'm like, baby, I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? You work here, not me. How much you weigh? So we get it on the scale. And she like, yeah, you're going to have to take the UPS. Well, I feel like you knew that when you when I came in here. I don't know why the camera is sideways. I don't know why it's sideways. But let's not even mention the fact that they got a box back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. When I first get in there, as soon as, as soon as I get in there, she like, oh, you gonna have to put some tape on that because you can't have duct tape on the box. I'm like, okay, cool. So she done sat there and had me duct tape the whole box from the top to bottom and everything. I mean, put put day tape on it just to tell me that she can't mail my stuff on. Y'all, this so crazy. Because you knew that. I feel like you knew all of that. Anyway, that lady always have an attitude when I come in here. I done broke my nail. Oh, it's hot. Now I'm gonna gotta try to go take it to um uh, Home D uh, Home Depot UPS. Y'all, I'm so not loose. I'm sitting here trying to crank my car with a hot key. I'm so not loose. Oh, man. they don't make no sense. Okay, y'all. So. Man, I don't really gave my set of blue. Oh, that's my apartment right there. I'm finna go to um, I'm finna go to the damn. I should have turned right there. Ain't it's all right. I should have turned right there. I um, my eye irritated. I woke up. I woke up the morning. My eye was swollen and stuff. Like it just today just ain't my day, man. Today just is not my day. But it's cool. I um, like I said, I broke my nail. So what I'm finna do? I knew that I was gonna do that too, cause I'm like, man, I bet you I'm gonna end up um breaking my nail with this big ass box, and that's exactly what I did. So, and I packed my nail stuff in the box, and I knew I was gonna do that. I said, I said to myself, man, I'm finna pack my nail stuff in this box, and then finna end up needing it. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna go to the uh, store, buy some press ons um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna take these off. I'm about to take all of these off and glue on some press ons something a little short, cute, or whatever. And um, I'm about to put some gas in the car, and then I'm going home and going to sleep. I went to UPS. I found the UPS store. They started off slightly rude too, but then they ended up being, you know, okay. They ended up being okay. But like these people, like up here, like 
I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. But it's not given what it needs to be given. It really ain't. I, but that, I don't I don't know what, like, baby girl that work at that damn, at that post office, if you, if you ever come across my YouTube videos, baby, you need to be a little more sweet. You need to be a little bit more compassionate with your job. Like, if you don't, if you deal with people, you work in the public, you know what I'm saying? And like, if you don't like people, and, or you don't like your job, you know, do what you gotta do to get out of it. You don't have to, like, you can make, you can make light of any situation that you're in. You do not have to be in there carrying on the way you do because you hate that damn job. Because I've literally been to that post office maybe three or four separate times since I've um, been up here. And every time you're in there, you got an attitude. Every time. And I've tried to always be nice to you and like understanding and stuff like that. But I'll never understand a person that has an attitude with a person that ain't did nothing to them. I've, I'll never understand it. Whatever you're going through, you know, I pray that you find peace in it. I pray that you find some kind of peace because this ain't it, sis. This ain't it. But, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Like, <laughs> and towards the end, like, when I came, when I, I, had to, I had to get my car, I had to get the car swinging around closer. Um... So that I wouldn't have to carry it so far away from the car like I did, like, you know, to take it in there or whatever. And she would like, she, I don't, I don't know, it like she kind of had a little sense of compassion. Something I've never seen in her. She was like, you know, she was like, you're going to be able to get there by yourself. Like, I brought it in here by myself. Then I, like, I don't know. But see, that me trying to get, that me giving her what she gave me to a certain degree. But I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, I got it. You know, I carried it to the car. The car was right there by the, out the door at that point so it's like i don't know but like i said when i do get back home i'm gonna talk i'm gonna have a little i'm gonna talk about this whole debacle or whatever but yeah i'm finna cut these i'm finna cut these off man my hand is slow i don't jab i jab my pinky this nail hurts so bad but this is the one that broke but the one that i broke is not even the one that's hurting it's this one and so I'm just gonna take them off. I'm, I'm just gonna soak them off, and and go on and um just glue on some kind of um press on. And I hate that I hate that I even I don't know how people be putting on be gluing on press on nails and they don't come off. I don't. I don't know how y'all do that because with me, I've tried to wear press ons before. They come off the same day. But I've always said that, okay, I'll use the UV lamp. Like, you know, I put a little gel up on my na on my natural nail, stick the press on on the gel and like hit it with the light. And I'm and I'll probably get a better hold. I've always said that I was gonna try that. And I can't even try it today because I um <laughs> I can't even try it today because I done um Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I done sat down, um, what did I say I did? Mailed off my nail stuff. That's what I said I did. So, I'm almost at the dollar store, y'all. Um, it's, it's, I'm at this red light, and I'll be, it's right past the light. And so, but, um, uh, I got a lot of good, I got a lot of new things that's coming. Um, y'all bear with me. If you made it this far, comment twinkle twinkle in the comments so I can see that y'all still watching. And every and all of y'all that still support me and support everything that I do with no judgment and you know stuff like I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. But I'm just telling y'all like you know, bear with me. I got some stuff for y'all. I got some, some good stuff coming for everybody. You know, I just need to you know iron out a couple of wrinkles that I got going on, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. At this point, I think I'm just rambling. 
I think I think I'm just rambling. This is my third time coming to this store today. I know they're gonna be like, man, girl, what you got going on, lady? This is your third. So this is my third time going in this store today. Mmm, because I came in here earlier. Got some juice and stuff. Came in enough time, got the tape. Now I'm coming in there to get some press on there. They I know they like, what she she gonna shot us shot or not loose. And I am. All right, y'all. All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, so my baby sister had told me about getting a chicken sandwich that McDonald's got. And she told me to try it. It was a little spicy chicken sandwich. Y'all know I love chicken, if you know me. I love chicken and I love spicy stuff. The problem is the spice wasn't coming from the chicken itself. It was coming from some kind of mayonnaise. And I do not like mayonnaise at all. But I was like, I'm gonna try it because she asked me to. But this is what the this is what the um this is what the sandwich looked like and it got like the this spicy mayonnaise stuff on here. Oh ooh, they got it on the front end of it. I'm gonna try it, y'all. I'm gonna see what it gives. Y'all, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put my muscle on here and my hot sauce. It don't taste like mayonnaise necessarily, but it ain't. Mm -mm, she, she had gassed it too much. She gassed it up a little too much. I just put some muscle. I'm gonna try again. Yeah, y'all see. Okay, I don't think I wouldn't buy it again. It's not. It's not nasty, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it again. I would just buy the chicken like I normally do. But I don't like I don't like chicken sandwiches with bread anyway. I usually just eat the chicken part. I don't ask, I I tell them no bread. So it might be a little bit of all of that. I'm doing too much. I'm I'm putting too much on myself in one time. Rising everybody. It is April first, and I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like up here in Ohio, but it is snowing. I can't. I got out to come and get me some breakfast. Give me my friend something to eat real quick and <laughs> it is snowing outside i just um yeah yeah it's, it's, it's that's what it's doing out here i'm pulling up to mcdonald y'all only because it's right down the road um for real for real like nothing too major i just um I'm just gonna be glad when I get when I make it home. Like, can I please um uh, have the the number five? But can I get sausage instead of bacon? And can you take the egg off? Um, orange juice, please. Okay. Can I also have another number five with bacon and um, no egg on that one too? Okay. And I would a Dr Pepper with no ice. Okay. And then can I also have um, a sausage biscuit? But can you add bacon and cheese to it? And that'll be all. Thank you.
Thank you. Y'all, I had to car. I had to put. I had to put the car in reverse. So when I was ready to get ready to pull out, <laughs> so when I was ready to get ready to pull out, I started backing up. That just scared the life out of me. How you doing? <sighs> so, y'all need to tell me in the comments like what style I want to try. Thank you so much. What style? Um, what style y'all want me to try? Like, I'm 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 debating on like some kind of bundles, but I'm also I also want some knotless braids. I want a lot of things. Okay, y'all, this vlog is most definitely a representation of my life right now. Just all over the place. <laughs> all over the place and unorganized and just a total mess. But that's okay. That's okay. Well, I just got up probably about an hour ago. I've been up today, but I went back to sleep. I done broke one more nail. I just woke up and it was popped off. All of this is a result of that box. But I'm about to get myself together, brush my teeth again, take another shower. I think I'm going to retwist my hair. Oh, I was going to wait until the day I flew out. But I'm um, I'm going to do it now because I got an early flight. Also, I done got all packed up. Well, not necessarily packed, just fine-tuning on everything. Like, everything that all of the last little bits of things that I'm going to be carrying on the plane with me or whatever. I got all of this situated now. So <sighs> I'm about to go to sleep. It is this time right here and I have to board at 7.15. So I'm about to go and go to sleep so that I won't be lagging and bagging in the morning or whatever when I <sighs> Ohio, it's been fun. It's been real, baby. <sighs> Grand Rising. What's going on, Nation Gang? Y'all know what we gonna call? That's what I'm gonna call y'all. How y'all feel about Nation Gang? Hmm? How y'all feel about Nation Gang? We need a, we need a, we need a, um, we need a name for y'all or whatever. All my, all my true supporters and, and stuff like that or whatever. But anyway, Nevertheless, Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising. I actually have been up maybe maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. I scroll through Instagram and check my Twitter and all of those different things, other things. Make sure y'all are following me. Right there. Gonna, gonna follow me on Instagram as well. But um, I'm about to... Uh, um, jump in the shower and um, brush my teeth, all of them different things. I'm gonna glue on a couple of lashes, hopefully. I got some lash glue this time, y'all, cause I ain't gonna lie, I do glue my lashes on with hair glue, but I nailed my hair glue off. <laughs> so I got this clear, dramatic lash adhesive. It said it's latex free and I hope so because the last time I used real lash glue, it, it it caused me to have an allergic reaction. Um, my eyelids got swollen. They was extremely sore to touch, and that's kind of why I stopped using it, and I was using hair glue. I know people say that the hair glue is stronger, but I don't know. <laughs> and I still got my lash. But anyway, yeah, y'all, so I'm on. Um... Ah! So I'm about, I'm about to get myself situated in all them different things, and um, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Put these lashes on and um put these lashes on as well as um play these bad to have a little bit. I'm sweating a little bit, but I'm mainly I put on I use I moisturize with coconut oil. So yeah. 
Sometimes I shave with it too, but I didn't today because I keep the coconut oil in the kitchen. And I, um, I just shave with shaving cream today. I'm only about to put on these lashes. They're nothing too specific. They're actually a store brand. I haven't been bold enough to wear like a 25 millimeters yet. Um, Y'all know I just recently started wearing lashes. I mean, it's almost been a year now, but still, that came from somebody who never, who never wore them. I don't like those really, really thick, full-looking ones, like they look like Barbie doll lashes. I do kind of like the wispy look. For the longest, I was appreciating the lashes that was kind of short towards the inner corner, and then they flared out because I felt like it is it um accentuated my eyes a lot. I don't know why, like I, I act like I ain't never flown before. I can't remember if I could take my can I take my blanket on the plane with me, y'all? Cause I want to. I can't remember. Like I'm asking, can I take it with me free? <laughs> what I'm, if, that's my alarm clock, y'all. I hope the lash glue don't um, bother my eyes either. But I'm pretty excited when I get home. The first thing I'm going to do, like I'm going to go, um, my mama is actually coming to pick me up from the airport. So I'm probably going to chill with her for today. Um, at least for a couple of hours. I don't know yet. Then I'm had to go see my sister and that's pretty much it for real for real i need to get my nail fixed and i'm i'm debating i'm debating on if i want to do one keep them long like they are or if i want to go and um uh, Get them shorter because I kind of want to I kind of want to do a um a French tip on my nails I know that that's what I'm gonna do to my toes oh yeah this ain't working out for me if you're a person who don't really put on lashes you know with that hair glue it's kind of it's kind of like a A little easier to deal with. Is it on there? She on there, but I can't see. Oh, it's floating. Y'all, this is a disaster. I don't want y'all to miss out. I have a lot of fun things in store for this channel. Um, Y'all just got to hang in there with me. And everybody who's still by my side, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all don't even know. But, like, I really would like for y'all to let me know that you're here. Like, I see what the numbers say. But it's not being reflected. As far as like in my comments and stuff, like if you still, if you still rocking with me, however long, whether it's been from the beginning or recently, y'all comment below. Let me know like how we feel about this branding this nation gang situation. I'm bringing Bigo into my to everything else. But I think it's on there, y'all. I'm going to try to put this one on. How many of y'all are good in makeup? I need to know. Just looking at me, for y'all that are makeup artists that watch me, just looking at me, what do y'all think my my shade is? Like what, what color foundation or concealer? It, it's foundation, right? What color foundation y'all feel like matches me? Even if you feel like you will probably have to mix a couple or two together. Y'all just... um. Comment below and let me know what y'all feel like. Because I, I, I feel like I got, I know I have combination skin. Um, It gets dry sometimes around my forehead. Sometimes it gets dry around here. Currently it's dry around here in this area. And then I also have, my skin can be oily as well. It really just depends on the situation. For one, and then, um, as far as my skin tone, I feel like it has like yellows undertones. I feel like it has red undertones, but I'm not. I'm not sure. 
I just want to see if y'all know. See if y'all know. I'm going to keep my hair pulled up in a ponytail. I done made it to the airport and stuff now. Fort to be there early. They think there's a lot of folks in here. And I'm on. I'm very surprised. I really wasn't expecting it to be getting the folks in here this early. But, you know, the more you know. They really, they, they really is in here today. Even though it's a lot of people here, like this was one of the smoothest situations I've been in as far as flying in a long time. So, but in the process of that, I did break break this nail. So I'm about to um, <laughs> try to pull it on off. I am. This this just helped me make up my mind that I'm gonna go on and just do a short set of um, French tips or something when I get when I land because um, <laughs> this ain't me. So it was packed, but I guess everybody was going to Myrtle Beach. I am literally the only one here. Yeah. Y'all see how I told y'all that, that everybody already boarded. Everybody was going to this murder beach flight or whatever, right? So it's this older, it's this older couple that just got here. And they asked me had they boarded the flight. I said, yeah, they've been boarded already or whatever. Why are they up there knocking on the um, They up there knocking on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that plane is taking off literally right now. It's taking off right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's them taking off now, y'all. <laughs> I hate that. There they go. I hate that. That board was like, like 30 minutes ago. That's something, that's always been a big fear of mine. That's something that I've never done. If you miss a flight, how are you supposed to, how are you supposed to handle that? Like, are you supposed to like, would, would they give you credit to, would they give you credit to, to, to for another flight or do you have to purchase a, all new, a whole new ticket or how does that work? Y'all yeah, chime in in the comments. So that is, that's always been a big fear of mine that I would like miss, miss a flight because I wouldn't know what to do. The crewing product that forms an invisible barrier on all surfaces that kills bacteria. I'm gonna with it. It's like I just walked five miles from one side of the airport to the other. I don't know though. We up here happy life. We done made a whole detour. Cut right. on. My mama, she's an artist as well, so. We had a hobby lobby, she getting a couple of things. That hoe right there. I seen some cute Kente fabric in here. It's fake though, but I'm finna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. They're cute. This one print, isn't that cute? That's adorable. It look like it's the same, but it's not. Y'all done ever been in the store and find a mirror and got and, and stop in your track? Look at it. That's, look at that mirror. <laughs> this is a nice mirror. It's like, I like a holiday. And it's plain enough to be able to decorate it some kind of way if you wanted to. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple of things to put on my list when I come up here. But y'all walk about on like, ooh, come on, dude, come on. Y'all, I done did a holiday and I done came back and my mama's still in the same spot. <laughs> Look, and ain't nothing else in the buggy. Same amount of stuff in the buggy that was in here when I left. It won't be in my tape. It won't. Mm-mm. Well, that's the game too, that's No, because... You ain't selling stuff to me, you sell stuff to other people. Just crap, and just because I might not like it, don't mean that Nick personal. Crap, please, by the Thank you. You ready to give a body? 
that's your start, your own personal taste. That be the start, but you know, at the end of the day, to a certain degree, you do what's authentic to you, what you know, yeah. what you feel good doing, comfortable doing. Just let my mama out. I'm about to go see my my best friend. I call her my big sister. We, yeah, that's my sister. I'm about to go and visit her. I'm about to go and visit her. I kind of wanted to do a couple of things, but now I don't know. Now that I'm, now that I hear y'all, I don't want to do nothing. I just want to go. I just want to go and get some rest because I am tired. I had an early flight, y'all know that, and I really just kind of want to lay down and <laughs> be sorry for a minute. It's gonna be like I said, a lot of riding around. I have something that I need to ship off, and I um, I told that baby that I was gonna have that mailed off today. I, t I text her this morning and let her know that I was going to be shipping it off today. But I don't know. It's, it's looking like it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> it's looking real, very much so tomorrow at this point. Man, y'all, I done came down here to see my sister like I told y'all. <sighs> and it's going to turn to a whole errand trip. I should have, I should have said no. Yeah, I done finally made it to my final destination. I am so tired. My feet hurt. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. This has been a long, 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 long day. Um, if you watch this video in its entirety, comment below with a red heart so I can know you watched everything. Also, um, y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and click that bell notification so that you can be notified every time i post any new videos till next time